Right, it's the 6th of June, 2014, and while there's quite a few things going on commemorating and remembering the war, First World War, with the royal family over in France, a lot of them, um, I think it was the first day of the start of the war or something. Um, I've returned to Clare, so I want to go in the museum today. I've had to get here early because the traffic's really bad, even 8 o'clock in the morning, because Clare's so small, and my van's big and the streets are very narrow. I, um... I had to get here early -ish, and even that was difficult. Right, I'm just going to climb up on this bench, because the last time I was here... Everything was pruned. Ooh, so I've got to climb up here, see? And you can't see down. All this has been clipped last time I was here. I think they are doing some restoration work to the railway, old railway station down there. But um, this is the countryside. Here's the castle built by the Declares. Um, the archaeologists were here last year and I've been down and had a look at some of the areas what, down there in the greens where they dug pits and found stuff. They found skeletons. Now since I was here last there's been a new bit put on the top look. A little bit has been added, there's been a bit of a shelf put in, and those two turret things, the towery things, I don't know what you call them, they've been put on there, and there might even be another plaque on the wall, I'm going to go over and read that in a minute, and the flag's up, the declare flag. Right, so over there's the town, I'll be going there later. Just got to get down again, hold on, there's me, hi! Let's just have a see if there's a new plaque or not. Probably not. Maybe it's just been cleaned up. In affectionate remembrance of Chichester Gould May, born 28th of February 1863, died at Clare Hall 12th of February 1944. So I don't know what all that's about. I wonder how old that bit of wood is as well. In loving memory of Francis Henry May, who's at Ashes, lie buried beside this wall. Born 14th of March 1860, died at Clare Priory, 6th of February 1922. Also of his wife, Helen Augusta Victoria, born 27th of March 1863, died Clare Hall, 3rd of October 1945, whose ashes also lie here. And there's something else. I don't know if I noticed any of this before. Christopher John Kitchen Smith. Yeah, I don't know what that what that's about. I can't remember seeing that either. It might have been covered up before. I suppose what you notice on the I found a penny when I came here last time. I don't know if I've still got it. I might have put it in a special place. I found a penny. So, made a look at that then. Pebble Dash. It has been had a bit of restoration done, I can tell, because it's so clean. They've put a little bit over there again, cementing it in a bit. But keeping the restoration going.
So there's the town down there. Just have a walk round the back. I'm just doing a little bit of video. This is an update. It was four years ago I was here, you see. And there has been some changes, of course, because the archaeological digs. That's new. You see that flagpole. There, look, it's been blowing quite a bit in the wind with the three chevrons on it for the declares. They need a new flag. That wasn't here, you can see that. And they've done a little bit of tidying up here and there. Well, that's all what's left, so I suppose they got it, haven't they? I'm just looking to see if there's any other marks I might have missed before. Yeah. Right, so this is Sheila, whose ancestors built this castle. Very powerful baronal family of England. Over and out.